The White House has an entire page on its website dedicating to telling you how we're not in a recession. And I hope that is as comforting to you as it is to me. And don't question it because you might get judged by their disinformation governance board. I, I'm just kidding. That's, that's dead just for now, supposedly. Maybe. Who knows? But I do want to take a quick look at this website where it says, quote, while some maintain that two consecutive quarters of falling real GDP constitute a recession, that is neither the official definition nor the way economists evaluate the state of the business cycle. Unquote. So, the thing is, that when they say that that's not the official definition, I'm not sure what they really mean, and maybe they're being a bit prophetic about how the dictionary is going to change, because when you do look at the dictionary, which I should have to cite nowadays, it states that a recession is, quote, identified by a fall in GDP in two successive quarters, unquote. So, that is the way the dictionary is right now, but really, I almost never cite the dictionary now because we know how quickly it changes. And maybe the Biden has the Merriam-Webster people on speed dial. That's entirely possible because they have changed, what, female, male definitions just recently. During the Amy Coney Barrett hearings, they changed what sexual preference means. And it wasn't really that long ago that they changed marriage. Uh, to define it as just any two people who want to get together by a government contract. That, that's all that that is. And if you're wondering what sexual preference was changed, they added that it was offensive, because before then it wasn't offensive, but when Amy Coney Barrett used it, then suddenly it was offensive. This is just how things work. Again, now that I think about it, maybe the Biden administration does have Merriam-Webster on speed dial. Suddenly things just make sense now. But after this announcement and repeated ones by the Biden administration that this isn't how a recession is defined because we define it, well, Fox News read an article, uh, ran an article, and the original title of it, which has since been changed, kind of raises an eyebrow because they said, Biden says, no surprise, economy slowing down as economy enters technical recession. Now, technical recession, Fox News? <laughs> like... If it's technically a recession, it is a recession. That's how this works. Hey, Alexa, are we in a recession? Technically, but it depends on who is president. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Similarly, gas prices go up. It's not his fault. Apparently, Biden's, yeah, he's not to blame. But if gas prices down, go down, that is his contribution. Just keep up. Don't look for logic in any of this. It's not to be found, I assure you. It does, though, it brings me kind of back a little bit, if we can just step back for a moment. In Rules for Radicals, Sololinsky wrote, and I quote, he who controls the language controls the masses, unquote. And that, I think, is relevant in a day in which everything gets redefined in accordance with leftist whims. But what's also fun about that quote is that it starts with the word he. And nowadays, if someone were to write it, they'd probably write they, they who control the language, because now we're not really allowed to use the word he in reference to a singular person of no known gender, right? But that was how it used to be, and it's, it's actually kind of a source of frustration uh, for me. And I remember reading a book by, it was Linus Pauling, it was the, the, a collection of works by Linus Pauling, who was a, was a scientist and also had some really nefarious connections to the Rockefellers and stuff, but I'm not citing him for that reason. In any case, it was, it was a book about medicine and his research there. And in that research, he had written just like this. Every instance of a ungendered person, a person who we didn't know if they were male or female, just in generic terms, he'd used the word he. And so there was this forward that had been added to the, to the beginning of his book by someone who was apologizing for the fact that this particular grammatical um, sentence structure was used and it was apologizing on his behalf because it was after he had died. And I found that particularly just wrong. Um, but this is the way that we're, we're going in society. And as you see that progress from, <laughs> progress, uh, from the use of the word he to refer to a singular, just like we use the word man, or at least I do, uh, still, where no man has gone before was, of course, changed to no one has gone, and so on. And it's all these different references. And then now we kind of have arrived at a time in which gender is just so confusing for so many people, and they no longer can... Uh, well, now is just like anybody who is so confused that they decide they're no longer a man or a woman, they are just 
they, you see, you, you get it. In any case, I think that we're living in a time of a lack of definition, of a lack of willingness to point out and speak obvious truths, and now we're seeing that all the way out to what is a recession? It's whatever the government defines it to be. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video so that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?